255 here. What up? What up? The new Kavaris region is coming out on June 8th. First announcement. One of the interesting things about this region is, as you know, they have this place this is coming out on June 15th where you're going to take constant low damage while fighting uh, some enemies. And they got augments and things like that. I, I'm, I'm not sure how you'll feel about that game. We'll, maybe we'll talk more about that later. Let's just enjoy this trailer. Now that's pretty interesting. It's kind of like Vanford Labs, where you destroy like the little floating enemy bots and then they join you. I like the idea of killing enemies and making them part of your, your team and helping you. They do seem to have added some new trials here. And they look pretty good, especially the fact that you make use of the world while doing it. That that looks fun. That looks really good. Uh, yeah, so I, I like the idea that they incorporated the, the boards into the actual trials. Because it makes it useful right now. And looking at how much damage those um, icicles do when you pick up the blocks of going at them, that's looking pretty good as well. Now, what they did with this new trial Blizzard Zone enemy suppression is if you get hit by that ice storm, as you just saw there, you'll freeze. So it's like the Redom one where you had the desert and you can pick up your, uh, fill up your limit break. Same thing, except that you'll freeze. Now, look at how much damage this does at the end. You saw that? 9, 10. So it looks like they've uh, buffed that. They gave the same. So everybody got new uh, skills. For their classes, which is good. We need more of that. I hope they make that a, a regular part of the update. And they're still just buffing the groundwork of the game, but not adding any new classes yet. Not that anybody expected them to, but yeah, but I don't blame them for what they're doing. It looks pretty dope. Why not? I need to really try that Braver class. Blade Arts Perry Counter Edge. Uh, these new six-star weapons look pretty good. We'll talk more about those later. The, the new augments that they're dropping are supposed to be compatible with multi-weapons, is what was mentioned. And look at that new armor we have there. Yeah, so the new capsules they got there aren't really uh, breaking the mold. They do the, the damage that we need to. <clears throat> the good news is, though, if these capsules just, like, drop for regular enemies, that's an easy power boost. And it'll make it even easier to save our uh, Addy capsules or other augments for when we find like the best weapons in the region. But starting off, this this isn't a bad deal so far. But they do say Gigas. That's alarming. They do have the new story mode coming for... <coughs> they do have the new story mode coming for a better or for worst. I don't know what that's going to be like. And then we have this coming up. The Urgent Quest on June 8th. With the Crocodilus Vera Suppression. It kind of looks like the only new Urgent Quest we're getting. I'm sure there will be other Urgent Quests. They're going to add them on as like some type of content update. So we'll have this Urgent Quest available on the 8th. Uh, new Battle of Diaz. I, I don't know how you feel about it. This June 8th update. And it makes sense. Um, it's all coming right out, but I don't know how you feel. I, I can live or live without the Battle Diaz. I mean, they had their purposes. It made it easier for you to level up all your classes. I guess that was a big thing in base PSO2. Of course, you loved it. Also coming on June 8th, the new content is this, uh, these races. I'm cool with it. I, I like the idea, especially since the 32 man races. I'm cool with that. <clears throat> I wonder if it's going to include destroying things. I don't know if it's... It looks pretty fun. It just depends on the rewards, like I said last time. It really depends on the rewards. So now you can take on Alliance tasks. They finally came up with content for you to have an Alliance or join the Alliance. Once again, as I've said before, it all depends on... Uh, Rewards. Also, you might have missed it, but it was there. If not, I'll cover it again. You can now do story content at the counter. 
So anything that you did before, I don't know if they're gonna allow you to have experience or we just uh, re go through the story. And that's fine, whatever. They, they have added the auto sell feature. That's pretty important. This auto sell drops item feature is so critical. I mean, NGS needs this badly. Uh, and I think especially for people like myself who like to farm combat zones, this auto sell drop items feature is is life because there's nothing more annoying than farming and having to stop and restock i think ngs right now is in a great place happy making content for it i right, just a real quick recap of everything right now so there's these havocs that are gonna be fighting by our side like i said with van for labs looking forward to that and i'm finally making use of these status elements that's been in the game from the beginning, but there's really been no use for that. Maybe you farmed a bunch of those capsules and kept them. Well, now may be the time for us to use it. And there are higher gold and silver enemy experience rare drop rates for whatever purposes that will serve. <laughs> Level cap will be raised to 60. All new skill classes, as you saw in the video. And there seems to be a bunch of new six star weapons. And uh, I already talked about those augments, so we'll go to the next one. Uh, already talked about this with the Hero Arrive video when he interviewed the developers. You'll see the video for it up there. You click on that, and I'll talk a little about the story in that. I hope that these new awesome side tasks come with some awesome rewards. Will depend if they're repeatable. I don't mind there being robots instead of other NPCs because the NPCs we have read them are like robots anyway. And so are the ones in Alio. So what's the difference? Looks like they finally are adding more shop options to the salon for type 1 player types. And uh, that's good. We need more of that. Also, they're adding a new magnifying glass function and some uh, new voice scratch tickets. Oh, all good stuff. This next function I found really helpful being able to look for party members in the same room. Maybe people farming gigantic. They want to do veteran hunts or uh, the captain farming. Just specific types of farming that people like to do. I'm glad to update the spring special scratch items. I hope they're better because the last ones were just terrible. So the Ray George Gorge. When I hear tough, I don't get excited. When I want to play games casually, enjoy myself. However, I recognize that uh, different players have needs for different types of gameplay. I don't like the ancient because it looks like the reformed gigantic from Alio, just in as many different forms there. But, uh, you know, a new gameplay loop might be good. Okay, more harder context. It's the Dark False at level 60, basically. You only have four players. It's harder content. Uh, hopefully, they give rewards that match it. All right, here, so we have celebrating Sonic's birthday, and he deserves to be. It starts on the 16th of June at 12 a.m. Sonic Lobby meet Super Dimensional Sonic Nayu. NGS Blocks, it starts on the 23rd. Here we have another NGS uh, anniversary project, the 10th, calling on all passion. Arc Defenders is in the best PSO2 and NGS screenshots for a mosaic. Uh, they went and posted on your Twitter by 11.59 on June 30th for Thursday. Hashtag 10th anniversary art PSO2 NGS. You can submit as many screenshots as you like. And the finished mosaic will be shown as part of the 10th anniversary project at a later date. The Renaissance series weapons, I think these are just for three star uh, rarity weapons, the, the best apparently, and they are 16 different weapon types. It looks like it's going to be some type of task or something, not really sure. That's it for this uh, update, Deep Minds. What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. We can see the scratch tickets. I really don't cover those because. Other NGS content creators will. There's usually one alpha to so I like, and other than that, I don't care. But it's looking good right now for NGS. Thank you all for sticking by. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And uh, thank you for being part of the Deep Mind family. This is Deep Mind 250 out. Five out. <laughs> one. Peace.